the carnivore diet and fruit. Can you imagine a lion chasing down a gazelle, then stopping for a quick snack of berries? It seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? That's the kind of question that pops up when we talk about the carnivore diet and the role of fruit. This way of eating has gained traction for its focus on animal-based foods, but it also sparks debate, especially when it comes to the inclusion of fruits. In this exploration, we'll dive deep into the carnivore diet, examining its principles, the controversy surrounding fruit, and whether there's room for a little sweetness in this meat-centric approach. Get ready to sink your teeth into the juicy details as we uncover the facts and separate the myths from the meat of the matter. The carnivore diet, as the name suggests, is centered around consuming animal products. Imagine stripping your plate clean of processed foods, grains, and even most vegetables, leaving only meat, fish, and sometimes dairy. This primal approach to eating has its roots in the belief that our ancestors thrived on a meat-heavy diet. Proponents argue that by mimicking this ancestral way of eating, we can unlock a range of health benefits, from improved digestion and reduced inflammation to increased energy levels and mental clarity. However, it's important to note that the carnivore diet is a restrictive way of eating and should be approached with caution. Consulting with a healthcare professional before making any drastic dietary changes is always recommended. This is especially important for individuals with pre-existing health conditions or those taking medications. So what exactly does a day on the carnivore diet look like? Picture a plate piled high with succulent steaks, juicy burgers, and tender chicken breasts. Fish and seafood also feature prominently, bringing omega-3 fatty acids to the table. Eggs with their protein and nutrient density are another staple. For those who choose to include dairy, full-fat options like butter, cream, and cheese are preferred. The carnivore diet emphasizes the consumption of whole, unprocessed animal foods. This means saying goodbye to processed meats like sausages and bacon, which often contain added sugars, preservatives, and other unhealthy ingredients. While the diet may seem limited at first glance, it offers a surprising amount of variety within its meat-centric boundaries. One of the most striking aspects of the carnivore diet is its strict avoidance of plant-based foods. Fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, all are relegated to the do not eat list. This exclusion stems from the belief that plant compounds like lectins, oxalates, and phytates can interfere with nutrient absorption and contribute to inflammation in the body. While these compounds can have some negative effects when consumed in excess, they are also found in many healthy plant foods. The carnivore diet takes a blanket approach, eliminating all plant foods to minimize potential risks. However, this also means missing out on the vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants that these foods provide. This is one of the main criticisms of the carnivore diet, as it can lead to nutrient deficiencies if not carefully planned. To fruit or not to fruit, a carnivore quandary. Within the carnivore community, a debate simmers. Can fruit, even in small amounts, find a place at the table? While strict adherents maintain a firm no stance, others embrace a more flexible approach, allowing for occasional limited fruit intake. This internal divide highlights the nuanced nature of the diet and the individual interpretations within its framework. Those who advocate for complete fruit exclusion argue that even small amounts of fructose can disrupt the metabolic benefits of the carnivore diet. They believe that any introduction of sugar, regardless of its source, can hinder weight loss, increase inflammation, and lead to cravings. On the other hand, proponents of moderate fruit consumption suggest that low-sugar fruits consumed in moderation can provide valuable nutrients without significantly impacting the diet's overall effectiveness. This perspective emphasizes individual tolerance and the importance of listening to one's body. Sugar-coated concerns. The case against fructose in a carnivore world. A primary concern on the carnivore diet is fructose, a naturally occurring sugar in fruit. Fructose is metabolized differently than glucose, the body's primary energy source. Excess fructose can overload the liver, leading to insulin resistance and fatty liver disease. Proponents argue that even small amounts of fructose can disrupt the metabolic benefits of the diet. They believe eliminating all sugar helps the body enter ketosis, burning fat for fuel. A slice of exception. When low-sugar fruits might sneak in. While the carnivore diet generally shuns fruits, some proponents acknowledge that certain low-sugar fruits might be acceptable in minimal amounts, particularly for individuals transitioning into a stricter approach. These fruits, such as berries, avocado, yes, it's a fruit, and lemons are lower in fructose than their sweeter counterparts like bananas, mangoes, and grapes. They also offer valuable nutrients such as antioxidants, fiber, and electrolytes, 
which can be beneficial during the initial adaptation phase of the diet. However, even with these exceptions, moderation is key. It's crucial to listen to your body and monitor how you feel after consuming any fruit. If you experience cravings, digestive discomfort, or a stall in your weight loss progress, it might be a sign to reduce or eliminate fruit intake. Tipping the scales, how fruit affects weight loss on carnivore. Weight loss is often cited as a primary motivation for adopting the carnivore diet. The diet's emphasis on protein and fat, coupled with its elimination of carbohydrates, can lead to reduced appetite, increased satiety, and a natural calorie deficit, all of which contribute to weight loss. However, introducing fruit, even in small amounts, can potentially impact these weight-regulating mechanisms. Fructose, while naturally occurring, can still stimulate insulin production, which can interfere with fat burning and potentially lead to weight gain if not carefully managed. Moreover, the added sugars in fruit can contribute to cravings and make it challenging to maintain the calorie control that often comes naturally with a strict carnivore approach. This doesn't mean that fruit will inevitably sabotage weight loss efforts, but it does highlight the importance of mindful consumption and careful monitoring of portion sizes. The juicy details, benefits and risks of adding fruit to the mix. Adding fruit to a carnivore diet has both benefits and risks. Fruits provide essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. They also offer fiber, promoting digestive health. But fructose can disrupt metabolic benefits of a carnivore diet. Added sugars may lead to cravings and calorie control issues. The choice depends on individual goals and preferences. From the experts, what the pros say about fruit on a carnivore diet. Expert opinions on fruit in a carnivore diet are diverse. Some advise against fruit, citing concerns about fructose. Dr. Sean Baker suggests small amounts of low-sugar fruits like berries. He emphasizes individual experimentation. Dr. Paul Saladino acknowledges benefits but warns against overconsumption. A bite of balance tips for incorporating fruit wisely. For those seeking to incorporate fruit into a predominantly carnivore diet, a balanced approach is key. Start by choosing low sugar fruits like berries, avocados, and lemons. These fruits are lower in fructose and offer valuable nutrients without significantly impacting blood sugar levels. Incorporate fruit gradually, starting with small portions and monitoring your body's response. Pay attention to any cravings, digestive discomfort, or changes in energy levels. Listen to your body's signals and adjust your intake accordingly. Consider the timing of your fruit consumption. Consuming fruit alongside a protein-rich meal can help mitigate blood sugar spikes. Finally, prioritize whole fruits over fruit juices, which are often concentrated sources of sugar and lack the fiber found in whole fruit. Finding your inner carnivore. Embracing flexibility and experimentation. The carnivore diet, like any dietary approach, is not a one-size-fits-all solution. What works for one person may not work for another. The decision of whether or not to include fruit is a personal one that should be based on individual goals, tolerances, and preferences. Experimentation is key. Start with a strict carnivore approach and gradually experiment with incorporating small amounts of low-sugar fruit, monitoring your body's response closely. Pay attention to how you feel, both physically and mentally, and adjust your intake accordingly. Remember, the goal is to find a sustainable way of eating that makes you feel your best. The carnivore diet, with or without fruit, can be a valuable tool for improving health and well-being when approached with a balanced and individualized perspective. Join the pack. Share your thoughts. Have you tried the carnivore diet? What are your thoughts on incorporating fruit? Share your experiences, insights, and questions in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation and learn from each other's journeys. Don't forget to like this video if you found it informative and subscribe to my channel for more evidence-based health and nutrition advice. Until next time, stay healthy and carnivore strong.